Uh, excuse me for yawning at the very beginning of the episode. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Um, to the lost episode of the Lost Paradidos. Hopefully, this is the last episode. I don't know how long I'm going to be waiting for, uh, but apparently I've given some hackers some stuff to try and find a signal that'll tell us how they deactivated the chips, which is probably the only thing that's happening right now. For, like, I, I, it's, it's quite obvious they deactivated the chips. I don't know why we need to know... I mean, I guess we can know the reason as to why, but I don't really need to know who did it, honestly. It kind of feels like we already know who did, did it. Because, you know... If Isabella wanted, you know, to be a good guy, and so if you become a good guy, you have to become a bad guy. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just goofing around while I'm waiting for this guy to do his hacker thing. I don't really know what happened last episode. We secured a thing of Zombrex because people needed it. I left for like 20 minutes, and the package of Zombrex was not, or, or was not removed from the van. And so, when bikers got to it, they blew it out. I, I don't know. I was really excited for this one. It's, it's, I, I had high hopes for this one. My hopes are a bit lower than they were when I started. So I was like, I thought this one-man army would find a way to, like, fix up Los Paradidos and end the infection. I thought that's what was going on. Hey, man, get back oh, okay, to fine. We're back. Wait, where is that at? There's a bonus mission to collect Zombrex off of special zombies. Or Zomb Zombrex chips or whatever. And I died on here. <laughs> there was there was one it's feeling like that camera, the camera side work or side thing on episode two, but I, I just don't care. I I don't I don't want to go around this massive map to go collect these things that are going to have only a menial effect on what's going to happen. I'm good. I'll just... If I accidentally run across them, sure, I'll take care of it. But if I'm not going to do it, then... Or I'm not going to cut them down. Is this, this going to fit in that fireworks shop? We're going to find out. And I don't even know how much left of this, uh, this episode there is, but I just thought I would split it because I was just going on for too long. At least I thought it was. It might I might cut it and it might be like 20 minutes worth of footage. I don't know. I was hoping for more story out of this one than I got, and I don't think I am. I don't feel like I am. No, it wasn't. Will the, CD, the CDC agent find the black box? I kind of hope they do. It hasn't been mentioned, like, ever since episode one, nor is it mentioned in the game. Oh, I accidentally stumbled across you guys. Zombrex chip, Zombrex chip. There's like 40 total Zombrex chips that the game wants me to collect. So I'm, I'm okay. I don't know why they're adding so many collectathons to this game, honestly, or to these uh, bonus sections because the game's never been I don't play Dead Rising to collect things. I play Dead Rising to kill zombies. 
the other games have collectibles? I don't think the other games did. I mean, they they had schematics, right? But that was about it. You got one of them Zombrex chips, right? Yes. How they know where you are? They're using CDC technology to track me? Not as pleasant as you thought it was, is it? It wasn't meant to be used that way. It's supposed to keep people safe. You so sure about that? I mean, that's a lot of power. People just gave right up to the government because they were afraid of something. It's a pretty big trade-off, if you ask me. They used it to start an outbreak. To scare the whole country into submission. We're defying whatever's sending those transmissions. Good luck, man. You know, you're not so bad. Me too. What was that conversation and how did that conversation even take effect? It sounded like he was right next to me and he's not. I'm on a bike. Oh. Gotta make this turn somehow, which I didn't make the turn, so. Also climbing stairs in the bike, so that cannot be good for my bike. I part a hazardous pile somehow? What did I do? That's a hazardous pile right there. I'm just gonna double up real quick. I don't want to be on that bike anymore anyway, so it's all good. Boom. That's a different, uh... I don't even care. There's more poop like Zombrex over here? Why? Take the ray gun with the the rail gun with some more shots. It's gonna be three instant kills. More if I line them up right. Oh what? How are you invincible to that? Thing does not kill things quickly. Specs for a lab and the train yard on Hemlock's orders. What? This is signed by Marion Mallon. I thought she was in prison. This can't be good. The decoy there. I've got to find out what they were up to in South Almuda. Just traveling. What the hell kind of lab are they making at the train yard anyway? Woo! I did that perfectly. And, the, and then the game kicked me off because it said you could not do that. It is literally telling me you were not allowed to, you were not supposed to do that. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, there's an invisible wall here. There's actually an invisible wall here blocking me from using my bike to get out of here. That's annoying. Why? Why is there an invisible wall stopping vehicles? Does it make any sense? I just want to travel fast. Why are you stopping me? I was here like two seconds ago. There's like 15 military soldiers here. I'm just gonna skip. Cutscene? Please? 
Oh my god, this is the aftermath. There's no cure here. Oh, but he knows. Prison camp of the taxi company. Oh. This is what I This is what I was want. Oh yeah. Give me more of that. There was proof on that laptop. <laughs> I, I I I don't know how they could completely overlook that, but there there was proof on that laptop that proved that it actually wasn't Hemlock's idea. It just so happened that Hemlock was a part of the plan. Or that Hemlock wanted to take over. You know, you, you know what I mean. Isabella was actually the one who orchestrated the whole thing. God, why? I, I just hate this man. Why are there roadblocks everywhere? It makes it so much more difficult to get anywhere, anywhere on the map. And they, like, move, too. I completed ten PowerPoint challenges. That's not right, because I didn't do a PowerPoint challenge. I literally couldn't have. Stop. Like, look at this! I'm all the way on the other side of the map, 200 meters away from my objective, just so I can get to this 1700 meter with my vehicle. I think it's faster than walking, too. Like, is there a, a Frank statue right there? In this? There is a Frank statue here that I've missed, because I've literally just flown through this area. Every single time. Level 33. Three actually needs unlocked. Well, he's going to the taxi cab place, so I wonder... That's... They they don't have that as a base of operations anymore, because that was... Uh, where was his face? Who's dead now. So, Nick stopped that and made a breakthrough in the taxi company. So they're not going to be there anymore, or at least they shouldn't. So he can get in there, and maybe he'll find the black box. That's that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna find the black box. I I'm telling you. It's just facts. I gotta get there though. Fight him. I have a, I have guns. That all of them? That was easy. What the hell happened here? Nick happened. Nick took over the entire place. And logically speaking, the black box should be in this tent, or one of the two. I want to see if I can look at it. I can't. It's not here. Locked. Bro, but the green... The light is green. Over. 
I gotta get up on the roof of that other building and I can climb over to the top. This doesn't seem like a very big place uh, to hold their reinforcements. It does not feel like there was a lot of them here in the first place, so. They just snuck in, honestly. Or could have just walked in, rather, I should say. There's a quest over here. Alright, thank you. Made the jump. Another cutscene. So we have the black box now. I'm so glad that there was only one boomer axe. What? I have no idea what happened. They just talked to one of the patients, uh, brought back a truck. I think we uh, used to get out. Okay. My, my dialogue glitched there for a second. Okay, so this might be the end. I think we might have the ending here. This is what I wanted! I wanted this! Why did they do like 15 fetch quests to get here? Hey look, there's a car I can take. With zombies everywhere. Actually, no. Just eliminate all the zombies. Use up the gun real quick before I leave. Alright, let's make a make, just make a quick getaway real quick, or at least try to. There's the Zombrix chips, but honestly. I think I'm near the end, so I'm gonna just try and push towards the end and see what happens. Of course, that's blocked off. Of course, it's blocked off. More way to get there, and I can't go there. Walked off again. I gotta go the long way. Survivors that came in with a truck, that's Anne. That's Anne and uh, who's his face? I don't remember. They said they were gonna get a truck and get as many people out as possible. I remember that, so did they actually make an appearance in this DLC. Well, I guess this is after Nyx leaves on the airplane or on the helicopter. It's just frame weird. Like, very weird. Long way around because there's a ramp there. Down. 
I've arrived. You made it. The patients are loaded in. There are more survivors at the comm tower and sensor. We'll pick up Nelson after that. Let's go. Okay, I gotta make it to this thing in sunset. What? I have to make this. Oh. Those like. Oh my god, they are. That's cool. I'm down with that. I freeze everything in my way in front of me. That's really neat. So the ZDC starts using freeze stuff instead of. I guess they turn electrical prods into. Uh... I can't get out of the I'm gonna have to go a long way around. Dead. No, I don't break the car. Not where I am. That's where I get in. We're down a whole like military angle thing. Yeah. How it's done. How it's done. We made it. This is why I joined the ZDC to save people. How is it that I ended up here in spite of the ZDC? Now we need to get Nelson. That's Gary, Rhonda, and Jeremy. I don't know who Jeremy is, but I know who Rhonda and Gary are. What are they doing at the comm tower? I don't even think I can go this way because that way leads to uh whatever you call it, a uh, stupid underground area. Gotta be kidding me. Get out of the way. Stupid car! There is a truck in my way that will not let me fit through. I just, it's so funny how at this point I've played this game so much that I know this map. And I, I know how they get to the areas they need to get to, it's just the roadblocks that randomly decide, they decide to place around the map for some reason. I don't know why. I just select certain times and, oh my god. What? You're joking, right? Like, you're, you're actually joking. There's just a wall blocking this whole bridge. I have to somehow make my way all the way around. Oh boy. I don't know what they're trying to achieve, like forcing me to go a certain route. Like make it as long as make the experience longer? Make it more intense. I don't know. I do wish there was like, I mean, the, the robots are, like, you can use the robots good. Just give me a way to somehow knock them down or something. 
the whole point of them, if I had to guess, was to stop the infection from spreading across the entire city. It clearly did not work. So why do they have to still be there? Give me a, like a way to blow it up or something. I don't know. That could have worked. I, the fact that I can't shove certain vehicles is very annoying. Like, I would understand if it was a small truck I was trying, or small, like, car I was trying to shove that thing with. I'm in a literal tank right now. And I have to go the long way around. This thing won't fit through the tight gap. Those explosions tell me that I was supposed to take this route. Let's go, Nelson, let's go. I can't stay here forever. What in God's name, why? Roblox gone. You gotta be kidding me. They really uh, don't want us getting out of here. No, they don't. We're getting to that diner. So close. I don't give up now. Come on, Brad. Don't let them get to you. I'm throwing a driving a giant. I'm good. Go be fine. Fighting up the street. I think Nick actually fought down through here, didn't he? At the beginning of the game? Did I make it? Did that count? Sometimes it's easier to follow the rules, respect the procedure, trust the results. thing means asking questions even if the answers mean turning your back on everything you believed in if the ZDC was bad wouldn't they yeah, not rescue I us watched it all in my little room I could have taken the tapes with me but maybe some stories are better left untold.
I don't know. I think the main the main reason I was frustrated at the start of that was because it wasn't what I was expecting and really hoping for. Honestly. I mean, it's not bad. It's just like why like I feel like if, if I if I know how game DLC works, when they say episode 1, 2, 3 and 4, they were probably released over a year time span. That's probably why there's so many collectibles and things to do in the DLC, because they want to give you a bunch of time to play that DLC before the next one moves on. Uh, that being said, um, they kept it through till the fourth part, and while the third episode wasn't really that interesting, I felt like they just kind of tacked it on. The, like, the first one was, was kind of ambitious, I feel like. They were stepping into like the episode one, which was great. It was kind of neat to see, like, I guess the commander guy or whatever. Some guy we only, I guess we fought in story mode is, at some point is Nick. I just completely forget it because I blew him to shreds uh, with a grenade launcher, I think. I do not remember. Um, so that was that. And then we had Angel. All right, what was I talking about? And then we had episode two where we had Angel and we kind of, I, I didn't, it didn't click with me until the very end who that was. But not only did we get to, you know, play as Angel, which was kind of a character we didn't know about and we saw die or dead in the first and the, with Nick. But they also showed us like how they got to the radar tower and that the school was overrun. I think that was probably one of the best episodes for story wise that linked everything together. Episode 3 was just Biker Dude, and we all know what happened to Biker Dude. We met him, like, the first hour of the game and killed him. <laughs> so glad that happened. And then in episode 4, I just, I wanted, what I thought was going to happen was we were going to start off with an agent who had survived to the very end to where Nick had actually flown a plane and left. We were the last people in Los Paradidos to fight our way through and either escape or something. I have no idea. It was not that. Um, it's something entirely different. Uh, it kind of was that. That I it kind of got towards this part of the the show where uh, we now realize that's actually what's going on, which was neat. We got cutscenes near the end. The beginning. I don't know. We were there to get. I, I still can't get over the fact we were there to pick up Zombrex. We picked up Zombrex. We left to go do something, or we left to go see what an explosion was about. During that time we left, we should have unloaded the Zombrex into the hospital. I would have thought. We go kill bikers. We go help and kill more bikers. We come back. There's actually bikers at the hospital who blow up the entire supply of Zombrex. Like, there's clearly patients that needed that, right? Like, we, why did it stay in the... I don't know. Whatever. I'm nitpicking. I don't know. And then, like, there was... Okay, the first two episodes didn't have a waiting section. They had a there's one that had a defense section, and there's one I don't even know what the first one had. But there was uh, the third episode had a waiting section, which I guess maybe uh, no matter how you put it, we could have just had a cutscene of watching that guy build something and then go. The only thing we could have done during that time of him building was getting bikes, the specialty bikes for XP. And that's it. And they're like all across the entire map. You can only grab the close ones before he's done. I don't understand it. That's the only thing you could do. And then the fourth one, uh, their collectible for that one is apparently, uh, what, what even was it? I don't even remember. Zombrex chips? It didn't, it didn't matter. It didn't. But like you would go so far away to get to pick to get those and then come back. I just didn't care. I just messed around for a while until eventually they said, "Hey, you could you could come back now and we could continue the story." It was kind of unnecessary in my opinion, especially when there wasn't a time limit. Like there was n there was no need for the waiting thing. The whole point there's waiting in Dead Rising is for you to go do the other things, the other people that need help and take care of. That is aside from your main court, the case, whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. I should stop talking. That was the end of Dead Rising 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey. I did. It's great. You guys have a good one.
I don't know what I'm gonna do next. If you got a suggestion, let me know. Please leave it down in the comment section below. And sooner or later, I'm gonna start Dead Rising 4. And that'll be the last Dead Rising series before, I believe it was, um, Capcom Vancouver shut down and we'll no longer ever see a Dead Rising game again. Unless their company picks it back up for some reason. I don't know. Or the, the whoever the head studio was that was making these games, uh, they shut down. Um, which is sad. Uh, it was very sad news when I found out, but after hearing the bad things about Dead Rising 4, it kind of makes sense. But we're going to play it, and we're going to find out if it's bad or not ourselves. I will see you guys around. Bye-bye.